All right, if you're gonna wanna test your own AC pressure, you're gonna need one of these gauges right here. I'll put a link to one. There's several different types that you can buy at a parts store and it'll tell you if your pressure is good or bad. Where you're gonna hook it in, you gotta find the AC uh, compressor. You can't really see it, but I got two hoses coming off down there and you're only gonna wanna plug it into the low side. There's two different uh, plugs just like this that you're gonna find. And this one's got a L on it. Other times it'll be blue while the high is red, but it should have a letter on it. Another way to double check is this hose connection right here is only gonna fit on the low side. All you gotta do is pull it in, click it down and let go, and that'll be connected. And you wanna do it while the car is running. So like I said, pull in, click down, let go. It is gonna be cold. Pull it in, click down good, and let go. I know with the AC running with Doors open, full blast, it should stabilize, and it, that has right here, so it's saying we're good. If you do need to add it, you just screw in a bottle right here, and then squeeze the trigger. As you're doing that, the gauge will go up. Make sure to put that cap back on. Now, if you do decide that you want to recharge your AC system, maybe it has a leak or it's just been low, um, it's probably going to have a leak if it's low, but you can get a bottle of R134, just like this, and it'll tell you on the back the actual amount that's in there. I'll tell you right here too, 12 ounces. But you need to know before you recharge how much your system takes. So for that, look up under the hood. That should be right along here. And for this yellow sticker right here. You can't see, but I can see it, and it says R134 use only maximum of 1.43 pounds. So 12 ounces, that's 0.75 pounds. You need two of these to fill up your AC system fully if it's completely empty. But that's how you know. And like I said, you just screw it into the gauge right here and then pull the trigger, read the directions because you're probably gonna have to shake it and turn it back and forth. That's how you can tell. And this is pretty much universal on any car as long as you have a screw in on the low pressure side.